what is wanted uh, from an artist is uh, he invents new things and uh, not to confirm what has already been done by others in the past. The contrary, he must uh, do something new. So Jean Dubuffet was one of the most important artists to appear in Europe after World War II. He was born in 1901 in Le Havre in Normandy. He moved in 1918 to Paris to study art. But it's only after several failed attempts to become an artist that he really settled in Paris in 1942 and started to work relentlessly, producing some 10,000 works over a 40-year period. De Buffet en Stedelijk Museum hebben een bijzondere relatie. Al uh, eind jaren 50 ging, uh, ging Sandberg twee werken aanschaffen voor de collectie van het Stedelijk bij de Buffet. Uh, geïnspireerd eigenlijk door de, de liefde die de Cobra kunstenaars hadden voor deze kunstenaar. En Elie de Wilde in 63 nam het stokje over met heel veel kracht. Dus die schreef meteen een brief naar de Buffet. Ik wil met jou een tentoonstelling maken. En daar werden aankopen verricht en de Buffet besloot op een gegeven moment om heel veel werken te geven aan het Stedelijk Museum. En uh, dat betekent dus dat we een enorm corpus aan werken hebben. So it's hard to describe his work in general because he produced work in lots of different mediums, uh, lots of different formats. Um, he used often very uh, classical subject matters. You have nudes, you have still lifes, you have landscapes. But he used a lot of non-artistic materials over the years. So technically he was a very interesting and varied artist. What there is to see in the exhibition is basically two stories that I'm telling. One story is simply the works that uh, the Stedelijk Museum acquired from Dubuffet. Uh, there's 16 paintings, one sculpture, several series of lithographs, which are dated from the 1940s to the 70s. Um, and they span two directors, Willem Sandberg and Eddie de Wilde. Um, and the other story, which I call Dubuffet the Deep End, is um, a story of how Dubuffet in his work uh, tries to disorientate viewers first in the, in the 40s and 50s by making people look downwards. He makes you focus on things that people don't normally notice. You know, the, the sand on the ground, the little pebbles, things like that. So he makes you focus on that, which means that then when you look back at the world, your vision is transformed. He worked with the principle of assemblage. So at some point in his life, he used butterfly wings. At another point, he gathered leaves on the ground and he made uh, paintings which he called botanical elements, which are made of pieces of, uh, of nature, of moss, of uh, grass, found on the ground and put together in a painting. Kleine hoefblad en blad wijnstok. In ieder geval, dat zijn de bladeren die gedertificeerd zijn. Wat we hier zien zijn twee werken, eigenlijk twee collages van uh, Du Buffet. Uh, het zijn twee werken gemaakt op, met bladeren. De ene heet Ver Front en de andere is Autumn. Uh, en zijn beide in 1959 uh, gemaakt. Deze werken zien er heel kwetsbaar uit, uh, zeker als je ze onder microscoop uh, kijkt. En um, mij werd gevraagd om te onderzoeken of deze werken überhaupt uh, konden reizen. En ik ben begonnen om deze werken te bekijken en expertise in te winnen in 2013. En ik ben bij de Kew Gardens in Londen terechtgekomen. Wij hebben de oude fotodocumentatie die aanwezig is in het museum uh, gebruikt. En die hebben vergeleken met de huidige toestand van de werk. En aan de hand van die vergelijking hebben we kunnen zien dat er eigenlijk bijna of heel gering bladverlies is geweest. En dat eigenlijk de werken vrij stabiel zijn. So in the works from the 60s and the, and the 70s, uh, one thing that's interesting is that you see different paintings and sculptures and also some multiples from the series called Lourloup is the cycle that occupies Du Buffet for about 10 years, from 1962 to uh, 1973-74. And the, uh, the origin of the Urloop is that he was uh, on the telephone uh, one day and he started doodling on a notepad. He then realized that when you put them on a, on a contrasting background, suddenly created little figures that were very much alive. So he developed um, little drawings like this, and then these drawings became paintings, and suddenly, the whole world was transformed by him into this visual vocabulary. After making paintings, 
he discovered uh, this material called styrofoam and he realized that he could carve out of blocks of styrofoam and make uh, sculptures connected to these paintings of the Urloop. And that was the starting point for not only smaller sculptures, but also monumental works, even little architectures in which you could walk around. Het bijzondere aan deze tentoonstelling, de Deep End in het Stedelijk Museum, met werken van Dubuffet uit de collectie van het Stedelijk Museum, is dat er een parallele tentoonstelling van het werk van Dubuffet plaatsvindt in het Rijksmuseum, waarin de grote sculpturen die hij heeft gemaakt in de tuinen zijn geplaatst. You know, I think of these sculptures as, um, as really objects that completely disorientate your perception. Suddenly your world is no longer made of horizontal and vertical lines that divide space, but they're this kind of swirling, um, anarchic lines. And the idea is that you see the work a little bit differently. Dubuffet was in fact somebody who really thought about what he was doing. He was highly reflexive because he was a theorist as well as being an artist. He wrote books about culture, he gave lectures, he wrote about his own practice. So you have to imagine that Dubuffet was around uh, at the time of surrealism in the 20s in France. He knew everyone, he circulated in different artistic circles, he saw what was being done, but he didn't fit in, he didn't want to make art in the style of cubism or surrealism. He needed something like 20 years in order to find the kind of art he could make that for him made him enter in art, but being an outsider. Yeah. I want to have a position, a similar position as uh, the insane uh, have. That is to say, to ignore the culture and to ignore the normal, to make something non-normal. I think that that is what is wanted from an artist, to make something non-normal, exceptional. People should see the exhibition because it's not a huge exhibition, so people can really take their time to look at different works and really um, bathe in this atmosphere of Dubuffet's work, just maybe become more sensitive to the way in which they walk, the way in which they look at things around them. That is something that I'd, I'd be happy for people to take with them.